Good morning, FTC community. I'm Josh from 7974, and today we're going to be demonstrating scoring samples on the buckets and scoring specimens with the clips on the rungs. Let's get started. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The new Robit system by Anymark can reduce complexity and enable robust builds. Parts align to a common one-half inch grid, simplifying construction and allowing alignment of both structure and motion components. Robits enables teams to always have the parts they need to complete a build. Head on over to Anymark.com slash Robits to learn more in order today. So we have a pretty basic claw bot here. It has four stages of belted viper slides and a claw that we say vectors the samples in, it has a pyramid shape, and it automatically helps it align to one of either two positions, which is going to be either right here or right there. That's all due to the fact that we have um, a pyramid, essentially two um, interlocked triangle shapes that conform to the inside of that. And now we'll show you scoring in the bucket here. We can reach both the low and the high thanks to our reach. And just like that, it's pretty easy. Um, then we'll go back here and we'll show you some of the specimen ones with the clips. There we go. You can see that we grab it in a, in a specific way so the clip is facing outwards, and that makes it really easy to just slide it on. What we found is that the, in the middle, a lot of these samples tend to get jumbled together, and they get really, really close together. So a big thing to watch out for is that if you have a claw bot like ours, one thing that you can struggle with is that if you have a bunch of elements next to each other, you're not going to really be able to get into the sides of the robot. So I'm thinking being able to handle that is going to be something that's really, really important for a lot of the teams that are looking to be high level. Another thing that we're looking at is um, slide stability. Um, and for that, we're adding two linear slides onto the robot instead of the one that we currently have. Because a big thing is going to be basically how accurate you can be when you're intaking to make sure that you are getting the sample that you want. Um, so you can notice that our arm is a bit wobbly right now, and we're going to try our best to fix that. Do you have any uh, claw design changes you're looking at doing? Of course. Um, we're not really looking at changing the design of the claw right here. We actually had a V1, which only had the triangle profile in one direction. And we found that it could pick it up in from the top down, but when doing it from the side, it wasn't really that great. So this is actually the V2 of our claws, and they seem to be working really well. I'm thinking for any team looking to really level up their claw this season, looking at doing that uh, profile that's matched to the inside of the sample is going to be really good. Yeah. These were our V1s here, and you can see that they have the triangles here, but they do not have any other triangle profiling on them. Uh, so they would work well from the top, but not anywhere else. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out more fun Robot in 30 Hours videos. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The new Robit system by Anymark can reduce complexity and enable robust builds. Parts align to a common one half inch grid, simplifying construction and allowing alignment of both structure and motion components. Robits enables teams to always have the parts they need to complete a build. Head on over to Anymark.com slash Robits to learn more in order today.